We're asked to perform the indicated operations on the given polynomials. Now, I want to stress the importance of, of this right here because all it is is combining like terms. And this is no different than the uh, addition and subtraction that you did in elementary school because now we're working with variables and we are working um, with uh, exponents, but it's no different. So what we're going to do is we're going to first um, write them out, put them in descending order, so put each set in descending order. So what we're going to do is look for the highest power, and we'll start off with 5x to the 7th in the first group here. All right, so I'm going to write 5x to the 7th power, and then next is plus 4x to the 6th power, and then plus... 7x to the fifth power, and then followed by minus 9. Okay, so we're setting this up really nicely. This is what I call column form. So we're getting them in order, in essence, by place value. And now next down here we have 2x to the seventh. So I'm going to write plus 2x to the seventh, and that since that happens to be positive when you're looking at it right here okay so that's what we're gonna write next so plus 2x to the seventh and then let's see what we have next well we have minus 9x to the sixth minus 9x to the sixth power and then minus 5x to the fifth power so there's that and then, let's see, minus 3. So we've set this up in what I call column form, but it's no different than what you were doing in elementary school when they talked about place value, when they talked about 1s, 10s, and 100s. So we have 5x to the 7th plus 2x to the 7th. Well, 5 plus 2 is 7, so that's not going to change anything with the variable. That's going to stay as x to the seventh power. Okay, so five plus two is seven, seven x to the seventh. Then we have a positive four and a minus nine, or negative nine. Four minus nine. Well, working with integers, the signs are different. We subtract four and nine and we get five. And the number with the larger absolute, absolute value is nine, so it becomes negative. So minus five x to the sixth. Again, that doesn't change the exponent. Next, we have a positive 7x to the fifth and a negative 5x to the fifth. So the signs again are different. We subtract. We get 2. That's the difference. And it happens to be positive since the 7 is has a larger absolute value. So plus 2x to the fifth power. And then we look at these last set of numbers here. And I want you to notice that they are both negative. The fact that they're both negative says that, number one, we need to add them. So when we add 9 and 3, we get 12. But since we, we see that they're both negative, we keep the negative sign. So then we have minus 12. So our answer to the problem is simply this right here, 7x to the 7th minus 5x to the 6th plus 2x to the fifth, minus 12. So let's recap very quickly. We set these up in column form and basically added by place value here. And that's how we got our final result.